Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 29. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is the K1200R Cup. This is the uh, BMW. Well, it says BMW, and I'm guessing it's only available for, yep, the K1200R. So uh, we need to go and grab our Beamer. Zim Zima, Ima Beamer. That's challenge mode, no thanks. Oh no, we did go to the garage. We glitched the game out. Lovely. Uh, let's sort by name, because we know exactly what we're looking for. Was it 1200R or 1200S? I think it'd be 1200R. What colour did we get, by the way? Oh, we got that nice red. Oh, yes, I remember this. I remember this bike. This was a nice one. I shall be taking that. And we shall be moving on to the first race event. Where is it? Here we go. So we're looking for number 15, I think, for this one. Where are you? Here you are, the, yeah, uh, I can't speak. The K1200R Cup for the BMW Motorrad K1200R Racing Modify. Let's do this. We're starting off with the Suzuka Circuit, then moving on to Deep Forest Raceway, and then moving on to the High Speed Ring. Let's do this. Right, here we go. The BMW Motorrad K1200R around Suzuka. Let's go. Get ready, and go. Starting out with the first sweeping corner. We're going to slow down to third, as recommended by the game. Oh, we've gone a little bit wide on the exit there. Hopefully that's not going to make too much of a difference. I do like that this bike has the exhaust on the side. That is a very nice touch. So much better than the bikes that we won in the last championship. Those were horrific. Can't do a wheelie on this bike. It's not powerful enough, apparently. Or is it powerful enough? No, there is literally no wheelie power whatsoever. Very nice. Good corner there. Oh, very, very sharp slowing down there. Awesome. And we're off. Oh, that was wide. Awesome. Coming up to the start the finish line, let's try and get an overtake before the line. Nope. We do get it just after the line and before the second line. So. Awesome. We are moving and grooving to the sound of nothingness. To the sound of bikes. I'm moving up and down, side to side, like a roller coaster. Yeah. Awesome. 
Whoa! Okay, we've got off road. There was nothing I could do about that. Nothing I could do. I had lost control as soon as I hit that curve and the rear end just flicked out. Very good recovery though. Awesome. Looking for the breaking point, which we're going to break a little bit earlier than we did last time. Just about managing to stay on the track. Why are we still in second gear? That is horrendous. Okay, whatever. Perfect. Moving up and down, side to side, like a roller coaster. go very nice perfect awesome coming up to the little chicane now around that corner smoothly and safely very good let's see if we can do this corner once more and get it just right once more absolutely nailed it with our rear tires starting to suffer And that was a perfect execution of that corner. And across the line. 220.373 for that final lap. Very nice. I like that. Seven minutes that race took. But the next ones are going to be short. So this video is probably only going to be about 17 or 18 minutes long. Oh well. Who cares? I need a couple of short ones to mix it up. And here we go. We got some riding gear. Awesome. We got a, uh, a ride got tracker or something. I don't know. And we got a Kawasaki Z1000S1 from 1982. It's another one of those bikes without a body. Don't like them. They're just not my style. They really are not. At all. Ugh. I don't like it. Right, next up is Deep Forest Raceway. Hopefully we get a better looking bike from this one. Hopefully. If we don't, I'll cry again. Probably. I'll cry big time. 
very, very sad. Right, let's do this. BMW Motorrad. Let's see how well it does around the Deep Forest Raceway. Perfect. It's a good first corner here. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Nice. G G's. We got a good overtake there, and we've been overtaken, and we've retaken that position. Nobody takes my first third place without a fight. If you're going to try and steal my position, you're going to expect a fight. Perfect. Very good. And about to make our first second place before the next lap. Oh, we got massive airtime there. Surprised that the bike didn't lose total control. Awesome. Nice. That was very close to my head. I nearly went splaz. Wow. Being a bit too uh, ambitious going around that corner. Trying way too hard to get around as quick as possible. Definitely not recommended. That was brilliant. Oh no! Rubbish! Oh great, we've got catching up to do now. That was on a fast section of track as well. So that was a huge amount of speed loss. Hence why they overtook us. And we now have to work to get that position back. Yep. Not happening. For some reason, we managed to survive the jump last time, but uh, this time, just not so much. Perfect. Nice. Whoa, that was toxic. Trying to crash me off, are you? Well, it ain't gonna work. Perfect. Awesome. Absolutely loving it. And there we go. We got a very nice finish there. Perfect. Nope, I don't want to see the replay. Because I fell off twice. I'd rather not see that. See my absolute horrific crash. Just smash into a wall.
but we got some rider gear. Which, that's the first time we've had two bits of rider gear in a row. Uh, but we got an Airi SNC RX7 RR4C. I don't think anyone actually would know what that is. Unless they actually saw a picture of it. Woo! Finally! A bike with bodywork. It's an MV as well. I thought it was like odd that there was only two of these kind of bikes. I do, even though I said I don't like the look of the exhaust underneath the back, I do like the look of these exhausts, the four tips. Because it's not like part of the bodywork, you can actually see exhaust. I think that's pretty cool. That is very, very cool. Right, let's have a look. Last one is the high speed ring, taking the beamer once again. I do want to see if I can take that MV at some point. Because obviously we've been going on sort of the exact same stuff for the entire time. So uh, let's see if we can change it up at some point. But for now, the K1200R around the high speed ring. Let's go. Re re. Each one of these laps will take around about a minute and 20 seconds. The thing I don't like about the high speed ring, personally, is the fact that it's too short for the straight. I'd rather the straight be maybe twice the length and have double S bends. Like you would have an S bend here, you'd, you'd have a long straight before then you'd have one S bend here going around here then you'd go through a tunnel through a mountain or something and you'd have an S bend in the mountain inside the tunnel sort of like um, high speed whatever it is uh, what is it Grand Valley Speedway and then you come out for another run along the straight. But that way you get yourself a super long straight that's enough to be classed as high speed. Because for this, right, yes for bikes you can get up to that high speed, but not in cars. No car in Gran Turismo 6 can get up to a high enough speed to get to its top speed on this track. But then obviously the special stage Route X is too long. Just in general. That's too long. It's then boring. Because there's no corners. Genuinely though, double S bends on this track would be amazing. What are you doing? Unbelievable. He's just ruined my entire run. This is why the 10 second penalty shouldn't exist because that was a genuine crash. That wasn't a trying to get a bonus by crashing into a wall and stopping. And even then, it shouldn't be 10 seconds, it should be 5. Ah, oh, disgusting. Rubbish. What the hell was the point in that? Wow. Not enough track to gain that back. Ah, absolutely gutted about that. Right, so after getting a much better exit out of that last corner, we're on to lap number three, and we are 
just... How have you done that? We're in the same bike. That shouldn't be physically possible. Uh, but anyways, we are now on our way to getting ahead. Getting into the lead. We've done well so far. Please don't crash like we did before again. I beg. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where's the finish line? Perfect. And here we go onto the main straight to get the win. That was a horrific crash before. But that redo was perfect. Three minutes, 40 seconds for that. Absolutely insane. Amazing. And there we go. Oh, I don't like that. Stop giving me bikes I don't like the look of. They're horrible. Do we literally earn all of the good ones in the... Um, Thing. Whatever the thing's called. Challenge mode. Because that is horrific. I would have expected a decent looking bike, but no. We got that garbage. Horrendous. What's the uh, next challenge then that we're going to have to do? The next championship. The monster series. Okay. And this we have to take one of those horrible things. Ugh. How many have we got after that as well? Five more. I got myself a busy few days to do then. It should be done in the next few days then. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a Christmas